Good morning, YouTube. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today I'm doing a video on my new setup and also cover my new BMS. So let me remove the heat sinks I put on them. It's temporary. One, two, and I will explain. So here is the heat sink. I'll post a link for the money, for the seller on eBay for you, so you can go and buy it if you want it. It's an 8S to 24S. My batteries are 14S. So it's connected to uh, this BMS and it's currently managing my Nissan Leaf. I've been able to, in the past, I've been able to charge them, but I never, I, I was never able to top balance them. So this is what this will do for me today. Last night, it powered everything down when it got to the preset voltage and asked it to shut things down at. So that was good. Um, as you can see, my setup is a little different from what you normally see. I have this LG cam connected to the bus bar and I have my Nissan Leaf also connected to a fuse connected to the bus bar. Let's start with the display on my BMS. So right now, let me see if I can pick it up. Yes, I can. So right now, give it a, a second to focus. Um, you could see my batteries are 55.7 volts. I have 2.4 amps coming in, about 133 watts. And my amp hours right now is 54.34 percent. I actually input that value. I'm not 100 percent sure it's correct. Um, the highest voltage cell is 4.007. The lowest is 3.970, and my batteries are at about 84%. And then you see the individual cell voltages. Okay. Um, let me go back. So here's the summary: 55.2 and 2.2 amps. I have no clue what that is, but I will look at my laptop. And then I'm, exp I'm sorry, I'm my phone, and I'll explain what I'm looking at. So here is my phone, the same thing. So now I know what it is. 2.2 amps is what the charge current was, and the MOSFETs, the charge and discharge MOSFETs are open. The balancer is shut down, and then if you look on voltage one, that's total battery voltage. Voltage 2 is the amps. For whatever reason, on the, uh, on the phone app, it displays it as a negative number. It should actually be a positive number. If you look on here, you see it's 2 ohm, which is a positive number. Okay, that has dropped. You see 1.9. Uh, we're charging using our two charge controllers, that one and this one. We don't have the grid. Um, we, we have about, our battery capacity right now is 54.36 amp hours. And then our voltage, is, the watt, watts coming in is 105 watts. Our high, our low, our average cell voltage, and the differential is 0 0.037380. It keeps fluctuating based on what charge is going in. I'm able to track the, volt, the temperature of the MOSFETs and temperature of the balancers, the temperature of the batteries, they're all at 30 degrees Celsius. And then uh, number 15 to 28 is the individual cell voltages. So this is pretty impressive. Now I'll show you what parameters I can adjust. I can adjust the over voltage. Uh, when it gets to 4.2, an alarm will go off, off each cell. And then if it gets to 3.15, an alarm will go off. And then it gives you all the different parameters you could adjust. Single over voltage recovery, single under voltage protection. I could do an overcurrent total system voltage, um, low battery cutoff, which is 42. Um, overcurrent charge, I only allowing 75 amps. I could allow up to, I think this is, yep, the maximum I could allow is 70. I doubt it very much I'll see 70. I doubt it very much I'll see more than 70. And then I can ask it to start balancing, which you see right here, auto equalization. But it's set up to do it automatically once the battery is over 4.10 volts. It will start to equalize all the batteries. So this is pretty exciting about this BMS. I'm enjoying it. I like all the, fu all the functions, all, all the features that it offers. 
and I am going to buy additional ones for my other batteries. Now what you see me doing differently is I have the LG cam running, much higher voltage, uh, up to 63, and this is only up to 58.8. Anything above that, it will, short, it will stop charging. I have, um, I'm using this to charge. I'm also using it to discharge. So everything is going through the BMS on the Nissan Leafs. On the LG, is going directly. We eventually will get a, a, this same BMS and will replicate the same connection for the LG batteries. Ultimately, this battery will move and I'll add an additional LG and an additional Nissan Leaf. What that means is we'll never get to use the LG to the, to the fullest and I might adjust and we'll never get to use the Nissan Leaf to the fullest either because the, the minimum for the LG is 48 volts while the minimum for the Nissan Leaf is 42. The maximum for the LG is 63 and the maximum for the Nissan Leaf is 58. I've put in a lead acid battery and it's connected to 300, 300 watt panel and I'm using it to cool my uh, BMS. This gets very hot when it's balancing. Right now there is no temperature. But I've seen 56 degrees Celsius. So what I've done is I've added this, a heat sink, and I've put another one. Sorry, I have it the wrong way. This way. Okay, and it reduces the temperatures by about 10. And then with the fan, it keeps this place pretty cool. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you have any suggestions as to how I can get more out of my LG batteries without charging them to 63 volts, please, um, I welcome your suggestions. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.